everybody! The mission I'm going to show you today has two objectives. The primary one is to place a Scansat scanner around Venus to create basic altitude and biomaps. It will also serve as a basic communication relay around this planet. Secondary objective is to deploy a probe that will gather basic data from Venusian atmosphere and, in case it survives, also from the surface. The launch vehicle is a trusted Golem Gremlin rocket with six additional solid rocket boosters. Delta V margins are quite tight in this mission, as the mass to Venus is a bit over 2.5 ton, which is close to the limit of this launcher. Trusted 11D33 engine performs most of the trans-venous injection. Final couple of hundred meters per second is performed by small Erosin 50 NTO thruster that will also be used to capture around Venus. After finishing the burn, solar panels are extended and scientific ex instruments are activated. Despite the fact that the panels produce considerably more energy around Venus comparing to around the Earth, running scanners is quite energy demanding, that's why the panels have to be rather large. Three days into the flight, probe performs mid-course correction and is placed on the final trajectory that will bring it to polar inclination. Next stop, Venus. Six months later, Venus is getting closer. The main engine produces only 3.5 kN of thrust, so the acceleration is just about 1.5 meters per second square. To get into highly elliptical orbit, thruster fires continuously for almost 20 minutes. Checking the fuel levels, I've decided to make another burn of 500 meters per second to lower the apoapsis even further. Now, probe is in parking orbit, and it will wait there for the next four months before releasing the atmospheric probe, as currently the proapsis is over the night side of the planet. After this time, Venus will move along its orbit, so it will allow for the daytime entry. Finally, the orbiter performs a small burn to dip the periapsis into the atmosphere. The unguided probe is being released, and the scanner uses the last drops of fuel in the injection stage to raise the orbit back. Probe relays on its aerodynamics to orient itself correctly in the upper atmosphere. If it would fail to do so, this part of the mission would be lost. Luckily, it went as planned. 
During the descent, the probe makes some pictures and registers a lot of scientific data, which is being transmitted to the orbiter and then further to Earth. The craft has no parachutes, but the atmosphere is so thick that the terminal velocity is about 10 meters per second. The landing will not be smooth, but it should survive. More data is collected on the ground, and each time the orbiter passes over, it is being transmitted. Lander has no way of generating power and the batteries will last for several days. But until then, all the scientific goals will be fulfilled. Now, the orbiter separates from the injection stage and uses its own fuel to circularize the orbit as much as possible. Finally, it settles on 1200 by 170 km orbit. It's not perfect, but it should allow the scanners to cover most of the surface. Scanning will take a couple more months to finish, but I can already call this mission a great success. That would be all for today. Thank you everyone for watching, please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and see you again in my next video.